wouldn't you know what the pastor for the second service preached from that saying? Are you serious? And so when he said, you know, turn to John, the whole, everybody who was there from all started <laughs> shouting. <laughs> and every, you know, my pastor. It's just been everything to me. I freaking just love this woman. And I listened to her so much, like as a teenager, it helped me through so much. And once he fucked them over, <laughs> which he was fucking them over, once he fucked them all over and they got out, people look at him like he's nothing. Are you ready for the blackout part two? Come to this blackout ready to have fun. In July 16th in Atlanta, Georgia. It's almost time for the blackout. Hey, is you ready for the blackout? Hey. And Sierra has signed a contract with IMG Modeling or IMG Models where they will take over Sierra's career as far as beauty <coughs> and modeling. And who's taking over the music? Hey, Sierra and whoever's her record label and whoever the management is. I don't know, but Sierra, like, I don't, I don't know what she can do to, you know, fix her music game, but it's possible because Mariah had a couple of setbacks. I'm sorry. Right. Before. I'm but sorry. listen, no, let me finish. No, she is not Mariah Carey, but, but, Mariah has had her setbacks in the music industry, and then she made an album that everybody took notice of, yep. and she won two Grammys. Yep, but can I stop you? Three, actually, but wait, no, because I want to finish. So, Sierra took this seriously, if, if, if this modeling company take her seriously, like, this could be... Mm -hmm. Really big for her. So I'm going to let you say what you want to say. First of all, no, Sierra is no Mariah Carey and she'll never be Mariah Carey. Second of all, yes, they both had their setbacks. But let us not forget, Mariah Carey is a singer. She came out with a comeback album, The Emancipation of Mimi, that not only showcased her voice and her vocals, but the songs were meaningful. And they were powerful, and they were on the radio and on the charts for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months and months. And months. See, Air is not a singer. She does not make meaningful songs. She does not make powerful songs. Sierra does not have one song on any of her albums that is close to any song on the Emancipation of Mimi. Not one. They are just totally different, and their setbacks are totally different too. Of course, Mariah Carey is going to have a bigger setback. I mean, comeback because she's more. Sierra, you're like, okay, that was a good comeback, but where are the meaningful songs? Where are the, no, you don't have a powerhouse voice, but that doesn't mean anything. Like you said, Janet has songs that you love and got you through some shit. Janet's not a powerhouse, but she got some songs that got you through some shit. Where are the songs that got people through some shit with Sierra? She don't make those kind of get you through well, some shit kind of songs. Who was that? Well, first of all, open the door. Right now. Second of all, I'm going to say this. All of that, all what he just said is coming from a person who has never bought an album from Sierra. You don't have to, no, 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 wait a minute. Pause, 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 pause. So pause. you have a body of music. Pause, You don't have to buy an album from Sierra to know what she has. You know why? Because I didn't buy the album Emancipation of Me. Well, actually, I'm lying. I did. But let me tell you something. Damn near every song was on the radio when that, was it not? Everybody knew every, first of all, when Emancipation of Mimi came on, it came on and you did not turn it off. You did not skip any songs in Emancipation of Mimi. You let that album go through. Why? Because every song was good. Mm -hmm. You don't have that with Sierra. Now, I'm not saying Sierra don't have good songs, but Jackie, she don't have that now quality. Now, the Jackie album, I like, I like the Jackie album, but the album that Future produced, that's the album you can listen to from, mm -hmm. from front to finish. Now, I'm not just, and, I, and I'm not disputing that, but what I'm saying is the, the setbacks and the, and the comebacks. Sierra would never have a comeback like Mariah because the, 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 the I, I don't want to say work, it's the, the, the music, the quality. They don't make the same type of music. Mm -hmm. And, and whereas though, you know what else Mariah had on her side too? She didn't just have young people, but she had older people that really loved it. Sierra has these young people that you and I both know ain't buying shit. And the old people ain't paying Sierra. And then she's no trying to cater to them. And it's not working for her. The only three blacks that I know that are catering to 
Dwight, and are making it work for them is Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, and Beyonce. They are the only three black females that I know that are catering to all people, and it's working for them. See, it was trying to cater to all people, but it's not working. It's not I don't even think working. She's trying to, I don't think she's trying to cater. It's to wait, like, when I say cater, I don't want you to think that I'm saying it in a bad way. It's good that she's trying to cater to all people because when you're an artist, you want to make music for everybody. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, see, it was not. It's not reaching everybody. It's only reaching us, and some of us are not even interested anymore. I listen. I think that this is my thing. Okay. When it comes to her. The radio say first I don't listen to the radio. Neither do I, you know. But that. the radio has to play it because there's no way like you can't be number one if it's not being played on the radio. And when the radio is on, I know they play the same fucking songs in a rotation. And if you listen if you listen to the radio, like when it's on, the songs speed way faster than what it is on the album. That's how they're able to play them the same songs over and over again. Now, when it comes to her music, <coughs> Sierra definitely has some personal songs, and I bet was definitely a personal song, and it came true because Future showed his fucking ass. Like she knew what the fuck she was talking about. Sierra has some personal songs on Jack on the Jackie album. She had personal songs on the um, what's that? Uh, the evolution of Sierra, especially towards the end. That was like them breakup songs about her and Bow Wow and how she's saying about being a perfect wife and having children and all of those things. Like Sierra definitely does have those songs, and even though she's not able to project her voice. Like Mariah, yes, yeah, she can have a big comeback. Or she can have a comeback like Janet Jackson because everybody thought Janet's career was in the trash after the Super Bowl incident. And I mean, they treated Janet like she has done nothing. But I mean, they took her name. I'm just saying. No, honestly, right now she is Sierra. Right, honestly, right now Sierra is in the but the only thing that's making us really love her is that she's with Russell, Russell Wilson, Wilson and she's with a man that makes her happy. But the, the, but the interesting thing about it is you are comparing Sierra to two icons. Yeah. Janet and why? She's not. She's nowhere near Janet Jackson, and she's nowhere near Mariah Carey. You gotta compare her to somebody who's in her league, and even the people in her league are far ahead of her. But that's Look why you gotta go. Look how big Sierra oh. was. Look how big Sierra was in the early two thousands before Rihanna came out. Rihanna she had a machine behind her. She was. Sierra still got a machine. Let me say something. Her. When Sierra first came out with Run It and all that, not Run It, that's Chris Brown. When she came out with the One Two Step, one, and two all step that, yeah. every time Sierra's song came out, people were flocking. People watched the videos. It was all on the radio. Now, you said that they have to be playing her song somewhere, and I don't doubt it. But what I'm saying you is, remember that time she had to release like five different songs just to get a hit when she, um, like, I think it was like her third album. It took Ride with her and Ludacris for her career to pop off. And she and, it's good with ratchet music. And see that, but see that's, but see, and she's trying to get out of there, and it's not working. But see, the, this is the, the okay. You you kind of made a point that I'm trying to make, and you're actually making a point that I'm trying to make too, even though you probably don't realize it, but you are. The point that I'm trying to make is. Is Sierra as good as an artist as she is to the folks that like her? Because, you know, I'm not really, you know. But I do see that she does have some good songs. But the point that I'm trying to make is somebody, back to the Emancipation of Mimi since you brought it up. Mm -hmm. The Emancipation of Mimi, every time you turned on the radio in 2005, that's all you heard was Mariah Carey's voice. Mm -hmm. At one point, it was Mariah and Mary J. Remember? I and Mariah, I mean, Mary even had, had, Mary had a couple slip ups too. Yeah, but the thing that, I, but you can't compare Sierra to Mary either. Sure, you can't compare Mary's a legend. But, but listen, but I'm saying, I'm saying, failures happens to the best. They of. do, and I'm not denying that. But I the only thing that I'm saying is that I'm only thinking. You just saying don't compare them because. No, 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 no that's, not, not, that's not what I'm saying either. What I'm saying is, you are comparing Sierra to people, to artists who make music for everybody, who make meaningful music. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use the word meaningful because you said she has some really good songs. But those songs are not resonating like uh, Mary J. Blige's What's the name of that song? Because I can't be without you, babe. What's the name of that song? Well, you know what I'm talking about. She's uh, We Belong Together. Any of the Janet Jackson songs. Her songs are not like those songs. That's the point that I'm trying to make. She does not have one song that the radio's going to play over and over again until you're tired of hearing it. We were tired of hearing Mariah Carey. We were tired of hearing Major League Lodge because they played it over and over again. I don't know what station they play in Sierra Room, but you said they are playing her. I just don't know because I don't hear her voice when I turn on the radio. Yeah. You know who I hear? I hear Iggy Azalea. I hear Rihanna. I hear Nicki Minaj. I, 
I sometimes hear Beyonce. I don't hear her all the time, but I sometimes hear her. I never hear Sierra. Never. That's not right now. You're not gonna hear. I never hear her. Don't promote nothing. But so you're not gonna hear. But I mean, they could play her throwbacks. But I mean, they're not. But you know why? But let me tell you something. When Sierra, if if if, if Sierra could really <laughs> watch with the fans are saying like, I think she also needs to be performing on shit and not to let them know it. Like she yeah, did that like five years ago. Like never hulu. If you want to be on somebody's show, you have to Paul, and if you and did you, you see perform. Wendy Williams wig today. Yeah, she was doing the seventies look. She was doing oh, the seventies. I'm glad because I came in mid seventies. She's going to do a different look every week from a different yeah, haircut. It looks like a it. box of tissue sitting on her head. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean... <laughs> I was... Imagine. I'm walking the waiting room in the hospital and I'm like, what, the what is that on her head? And then the lady behind the desk started laughing. I'm like, wait. It looks like a box of tissue. She's like, this is the shortest piece of hair I ever had on my head. She should never have that hair on her head again. She, and she looked like a muskrat. Head. It looked like a, a, a muskrat sitting on her head. Yes. But, but Sierra, I'm... I'm, I'm I am happy for you, but now, bitch, you gotta bring it with the music. You gotta bring it with the performing. You just gotta fucking bring it, and you gotta be everywhere. And you can't miss no fucking fashion show. <coughs> or you can even get a fucking reality show with you doing fashion. And you like you got you got to get this shit on point because it's not just music no more. Everybody want to know what's going on with you and your baby. What's going on with you? Russell, what's going on with the music, what's going on with the fashion, like, you can really turn this shit into a show and make this and fucking she work got, for she you. she got the whole package. And you're hosting the Billboard Awards on Sunday. Are you performing? Like, what, what, come on. Oh, she's hosting. Yeah, what ludicrous. Like, she should be performing. Perform. Mm -hmm. I bet you she's going to look pretty. You know she's going to look pretty and she's going to wear, like, eight different outfits. And she's not j -Lo. And you better promote your fucking album while you're out there and let them know that you, that you got some music out. So, yeah, Sierra, I, I think I'm going to make that a video just for You know what she should have did? What? <laughs> I mean, she could have did that Beyonce thing. You have something, you're on TV for that, and then right after it goes off, your album releases. Yeah. But she can't, she's not that popular to do that. No. It won't work for her. But she can do a special. That would like, be nice. Because then can you imagine how many people would actually buy it? If she did something like that, like before the album dropped. Remember how BET used to be the channel that you go to to watch like the making of the video? People lost respect for BET. Like, it, mm -hmm. it could be that way. Like, this is me in the studio recording my album. Um, me yeah. writing a song. I don't like that song. I like that song. But mm -hmm. this is why I picked this album. And this is my album. Here it is. Go get it on iTunes. Like, if they did stuff like that. Album album releases used to be a fucking party back in the it day. Used to be a used special. to go on MTV, used to go on BET, T what's the TRL and 106 apart? People used to listen to your album like before it came out. Like it used to be a big thing. Midnight they, like they don't do none of that no more. And I think <coughs> the, like people don't anticipate albums no more. It's not a big thing no more. And that was only like ten short years ago. Yeah, it's it's just not yeah. fun no more. Cause people used to go to Tower Records all the time. Mm -hmm. They tore Tower Records. Damn. Yeah. They turned it into a sneakers. Is that a sneaker store or something? A, a Foot Locker. Foot Locker. Yeah. And it was a Walgreens at one point. So I, I put my still. first Whitney Houston album out of that um, Tower Records on South Street. You wanna know who it was? What? The Preacher's Wife soundtrack. Yes. That's an album right there. Yep. That is an album. That's another album that you listen to every song beginning to end. Yeah. I was mad that Whitney was only doing these just these soundtracks back in time, but them songs. Right. They were songs, good enough yes. to be on somebody's <laughs> album. Look. Come on. Y'all, they tried Whitney Houston on American Dad. What'd they do? I see American Dad yesterday. So I'm with my co <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, Michaela, I saw American Dad last night and it was so funny and they had Whitney Houston on there and it's not funny, but it was funny. So I'm like, well, what the fuck was it? So she plays it for me. I couldn't even laugh because I'm almost certain that that show aired while she was still alive. Yeah, because they went to Fox yeah. and show. Yeah. But what did they show? Her day in the bathtub? No, that's not funny. I know I'm it's not funny. It's on somebody's Snapchat? Mine. Because I recorded it. Because I couldn't believe that they did the time.
That's yeah. Deborah Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah Wilson. Mm-mm. And then told her, if you don't sing, you can't get your cocaine. And then the wife took the cocaine and said, come on, Whitney, get it. And when she was all out the door for the cocaine. It's not funny. But they make fun of everybody. I don't like that. <laughs> it's not funny. They make fun of Michael Jackson. Shit. Man TV made fun of every fucking body. Uh -huh. Drugs and no drugs. <laughs> Shit was funny. So, so we're gonna close this video. I, I, I chuckled. No, I chuckled, but it wasn't funny. <laughs> you know, it's not funny though. Because <coughs> cause we ain't know maybe did coke. I ain't know she did coke. At, well, maybe no. People do worse stuff for coke. I believed Whitney when she told Diane Sawyer crack is wet, wet. and it's too cheap, and I made too much money. I believed her. I believe she did other stuff. But when she said she didn't do that, I believed her. Mm -hmm. But then, the autopsy proven that was a lie. She, she had that. Huh? Don't she be the lines. She ain't I'm not snorting nothing. Sometimes I don't even want to snort this air that I'm breathing. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Can you imagine that? So, you know what I was thinking about today? Before we go off, I was thinking about this today. So we were talking about, you know, drug addicts and stuff like this at work. And then I sat there and I said to myself, because one of the people at my job was like, oh my God, so-and-so was never like that. And now they're so bad. And I instantly thought, and I said to myself, oh my God, I can't even imagine me sitting here being like this and then somewhere down the line becoming a drag, drag addict. And then it made me think about when y'all was singing that particular mm -hmm. summer and how y'all said that this person was everything and then they got on it. And I'm thinking like, how can you actually have live a sane life and then all of a sudden... Because it's peer like, pressure oh is a motherfucker. And and I'll tell you one drug I never done that many people I know done is ecstasy. And I mean they took that thing like it was nothing and I would see the way their body reacts to it and how they were just looking crazy and slob kind of I said I would never ever do that and I've never done that. But some people think that, you know, first they fall for it for peer pressure. And they think that everybody else is having fun while doing the same thing. So if they doing it and they are right, I could do the same thing. But you do have some people that can function and be on that stuff. And you will never even know that they're on it. But then you have some people that's just, you can tell. I would never forget. And it's, just, it's funny because my dad was so scared. It's funny. My dad thought that my sister was a functional alcoholic. My sister's not an alcoholic. My sister likes to party. But when she was in school before she graduated college, my dad was so scared because he's like, she's always partying. Like, what's going on? So then he, you know, he know how me close me and my sister is. So he, he said to me one day, no, I need you to be honest with me. Don't you think your sister is drinking too much? And I was like, well, I mean, she drinks, but she don't drink. She just parties like everybody do. But because my dad is old school, He's associating her partying with just getting flat out drunk, and that's not the case. Mm -hmm. So it was funny because he was like, and I was like, no, because like this, that, and the third. And I forgot what I said to him, but he was like, no, but I think she's a function alcoholic. <laughs> <I'll go home. laughs> I, like, I looked at him and I said, what? <laughs> I said, hey, I got mad. Here I go. We don't need to talk like like, mind you. I said to him, mind you, like this is not his daughter. I said to him, my sister's not a function alcoholic. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, what? <laughs> I know that's your daughter, but that's my sister. She's not a function alcoholic. Yeah, she likes to have a good time. Everybody but like, I like right. Good time. I know an alcoholic from a function alcoholic. And my sister's not that type at all. She's just one of those people that she goes out. And she don't drink that much. But like I said, my dad was associating her because she likes to party. That, oh, when she's at the party, she's always drinking. It's like, no. But I don't know. Just like my mom used to always think because my sister was always sleeping that she was pregnant. And you'd be like, no. My sister would always tell my mom, I'm in college. Of course I'm tired. <laughs> like, what the hell? They know what they're doing some stuff. Right. They because they're old and school, they're so they're like, skeptical. Because you know me, I'm always sleeping. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting me. Right. That's another story at another time for another day. I don't even think that's legal in this state. So, um, so we're going to go. But I'm going to wait. She would say this world. Yeah. Oh, it's legal somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're getting pregnant left and right. Look at Caitlyn Jenner. I'm going to wait for the rest of the developments you're trying to get. The <laughs> developments for this D.I. Warwick biopic.
Because I know that she said that Latoya Luckett is playing her and wow. Lady Gaga was supposed to play um, a singer that was at the time that was like one of her nemesis back then. And they saying that Lady Gaga saying it's not true. And Lady Gaga, I mean, Dion Warwick saying no, Lady Gaga ain't check her email when you're back from such and such. So we don't know. I'm going to wait before I get my opinion on it. But I really can't see Dion Warwick at Latoya Luckett as Dion Warwick. But with the way Hollywood works and with uh, makeup and shit, it could work. Yeah, I could see. I it could see her. I could see her as Dion. Because they got this. Because I remember when Ashanti played Dionne Warwick on American um, Dreams. I mean, I remember that TV show a few years ago. Yes, and she played her. Used to be on yeah, it. I used to love. I used to love that show. But she played her, and I was like, I don't know how the fuck they got Ashanti to play her. But and I she mean, you know, good. I mean, she didn't resemble her. She just played her as a singer, you know, and dressed, you know. But not everybody looks like everybody. Dionne definitely looked different back in her time. Like she had to <coughs> grow into her. Life. Like for instance, I don't see it. I don't see it at you all. Close that. Cause I don't see how that is mess. What? That iPad. Oh, you yeah, don't. Flip it over. Yeah, cause no matter, don't tell what you're saying. That. <laughs> yeah, flip it over. It's not locked. What did you try? Close, where is Amber, please. What the fuck, Mama? <laughs> please, cause I don't want to hear his mouth. <laughs> yes. But what I was getting ready to say is what I don't see is how I don't see Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin. But Aretha no, Franklin but she seems can do to it. see it. But just like Aretha Franklin see, I mean, she could do it as far as I guess vocals. But I can't even say vocals because don't no. nobody sound like. But the now, Aretha but Franklin. now, like, cause Aretha was small back in her day. Like Jennifer definitely could play a young Aretha Franklin. But it's just like Aretha Franklin wanted Halle Berry to play her, and I don't know where she got that idea. She did. Yeah, but that was a long. That <laughs> then she got she mad. Then she, she got mad she when Halle Berry said that she couldn't, she, she wouldn't she think that she could live up to that. And so Aretha Franklin said, "Well, I don't want nobody who's not confident." Aretha really needs to get it together because she, she has a story that definitely needs to be told. Yeah, but I want it to be and, told, told. Right. Because I want to figure, I want, I'm well, not trying to be rude. I'm mm -hmm. not. Go ahead. You want to know everything? I want to know what's, what was going on with her dad messing around with that little girl. Maybe so she ago. might tell a first story, not yeah. her dad's story. Well, we're going to tell the whole story. Because <laughs> you come out, come out. Allegedly. E allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, because I want to get sued. Oh, we'll talk about this after. Oh, okay. well, yeah, so, um... Because I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Say. So, yeah, we'll be back on Thursday with a new video. Also, if you live in, in the Philadelphia area, Tweet will be performing at the TLA Theater next Thursday. That's May 26th. And Gogo -Go Morrow will be her opening act. And they are both former Scorpion Show guests. And we're going to be talking to Tweet before our show <coughs> on May 26th at the TLA. So make sure y'all come on out, come to the TLA, and support Tweet in her new album, Charlene. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go, and we will see you guys on Thursday with a new video. Peace. I'm just going to turn it off the video. So... Now what you was about to say?